Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome, welcome to Toodles World. Today is Wednesday. Yeah, I guess I was going to do a book haul, but I'm not going to elaborate today at all or anything. But I'm going to talk about seven steps and ways. You can also probably lose weight this way. I'm not going to say you can't or you can because I really don't know. But if you watched my video yesterday, I went to the kitty doctor and I did get some news that kind of upset me and I was crying all day yesterday. Um, I'll get into that um, next month because I have to go back to the kitty doctor next month and I will get the real 411 on everything. So I will let y'all know then. But these are some things, if you have a chronic kidney disease, these are some things that will help you and you can reimburse re, re, you can reimburse your chronic kidney disease I don't know if you can do it if you're at stage 5 but I think you can do it at stage 4, 3, 2, and 1 especially I know you can at 1 um, the first thing is you need to limited, limit animal protein to one meal a day so if you Try to take out the red meat and not eat a lot of red meat. Um, I don't eat a lot of meat anymore. I will eat chicken every now and then. And now I really don't care for chicken. The only time I, I like turkey meat. Now the only time I do eat meat is if we go out to eat, which is once in a blue moon. At home, I try not to eat as much meat because I'm really not a meat person anymore. I'm getting to where, you know, meat's like, you know, I like to make my, I like my kebab because I make, I have a recipe that I have a diabetic cookbook, um, and I have a recipe in there how to make kebabs for diabetics. And now, and it has meat on it, but now I do want to make kebabs for myself. I got to get the sticks again, but I want to do vegetable kebabs and make a vegetable kebab. For myself so i'm gonna look up a few things um this weekend my husband and i are going book shopping um i will do a book haul i'm going to get a low carb cookbook um and i'm going to also see if i can't find a cookbook for meals for vegetables just to make vegetables because that is something i want to start eating more vegetables and more fruit um I might see about making a fruit bowl now with yogurt in it, but I want to get with my doctor and my kidney doctor and see if I can do that, if that would be okay for me to get like kiwi, strawberries, you know, certain types of fruit put in there with some plain yogurt and make a yogurt bowl for breakfast every morning. And I will have to find me a bowl that I actually would like to use to make the fruit bowl because I don't want to make a big one like this but maybe a small one like this or you know I don't have a bowl in here to show y'all but you know you get my drift I don't want to have a small bowl like this because that's not going to fill me up but one enough that you know I can get I'll get styrofoam bowls and make me a fruit bowl out of the styrofoam bowls and have that I also have this containers over here that might work as well but we'll see going into number two reduce the amount of meat you eat if you do like for instance is i make i've been eating a lot of pork pork chops and i need to not eat a lot of pork <laughs> but it's like if i make pork chops i need to not just get pork chops i need to put some vegetables and some stuff so what i thought about doing and y'all can let me know if this is a good idea if this is a good idea give this video a thumbs up when cooking dinner for my husband and my stepdaughter and i put meat with it i definitely want to have a type of vegetable whether it's one or two vegetables instead of just having three things on the plate i want to do four things i want to have like I want to do the vegetables, I want to do the meat, and then like have a little bowl of fruit or something for them to eat as well with the, with the fruit, I mean the fruit with the meal. 
I want them to start eating healthy as well as me. So since I'm on this low carb diet and I get a low carb diet cookbook and whatnot, I'm gonna start cooking low carb. I'm gonna start eating more fruit and vegetables. Now I could do a little side fruit or I could do the little bowl and put a little salad in there and buy salad mixes and do a little salad. Um, which would be good and they can decide what dressing they want. Okay. So try to limit how much red meat you eat. Try not to eat like meat three days or you know, three times a day. Try to eat meat like once a day or maybe once every other day. And it will be you know, because the meat can cause arteries as well and I've learned that I drink too much and they put me on fluid pills to get rid of some of the fluid and I have to lose the weight. I have to get to 140 something pounds and I'm at 150, 160 something. So I got to lose the weight. Somehow I got to cut down on my eating, cut down on my drinking and pray that everything goes the way I need it to go. Now for number three is sit down and grab a notebook, a pen, and make a plan. Make make meal plans. Like you can make a meal plan. Say, okay, on Mondays we're gonna eat. If you say Mondays we're gonna have meat, that will be our that will be my meat day. So, if your husband, your kids eat meat, but you don't eat the meat, which is fine, make a meal plan for yourself. And that's something I'm going to do today is make a meal plan. I want to try to incorporate salads in every meal. Um, I also want to try to incorporate two vegetables in every meal. And if I do a meat, I do a meat. I may do salad on my plate and do two vegetables. Or I may do, you know, change it up a little bit. But I will do some meat because I do need a little protein in my body, but not a lot. Um, for number four, make vegetables the star of the meal. When you eat a meal, make vegetables the star of the meal. So if you do, you can have brown rice. You can make a broccoli and rice casserole. Don't eat a lot of cheese because cheese can clog up your arteries as well. And cheese can also constipate you. And cheese can do a lot of bad habits to your body. So if you're like my best friend's wife, and you're like me, a cheese eater and gotta have cheese with everything, calm down the cheese. Calm down the cheese. And you can make cheese the star meal. I do want to make a broccoli and cheese casserole because I know I can eat that. It does have cheese in it, but not a lot of cheese. Keto diet say eat cheese, eat cheese. But most of the keto diets, and it don't cause for anything but cream cheese. So, you know, but we'll figure that out. I do want to make vegetables. The star. That's why I said I want to look for a vegetable cookbook or look in the cookbooks I have and see what kind of meals I can make, like broccoli and cheese casserole. Um, what other kind of things I can make that will cause you What I want to ask, and I will ask my doctor because I got to call my doctor here in a few um, and set up an appointment for Friday. What I want to ask my doctor if there's a way that would it be okay for me to have celery and peanut butter for a diet or a snack like i can get one celery stick and go one two three chop it up into three pieces and put peanut butter on it and make that a snack and i want to see if that's okay because i know when i go she's gonna weigh me and say you, you weigh too much you're gaining weight you're not losing weight and she's my kidney doctor's already emotioning that I could be a diabetic. So I, mm, 
Let me just start thinking more. Cauliflower gives me diarrhea, so I can't really eat cauliflower, and I hate cabbage. But I eat egg rolls, and egg rolls have cabbage in it. Not anymore do I eat egg rolls, only when I crave them. I only eat it really when I crave them. Um, number five, cheat every once in a while. It's okay for every once in a while. I do eat low-carb ice cream. It doesn't hurt every once in a while to get an ice cream cone or have a piece of chocolate, dark chocolate every once in a while. Now, they say dark chocolate, it helps you lose weight, too. But it's the sugar that you got to contain the sugar in whatever you eat. <coughs> Look, when you get a package, usually it tells you back here, you know, how much sugar is in it your carbs and stuff like that and you know whatever's in it so check to see how much sugar is in whatever you're cooking processed foods like the TV dinners I eat they're not really healthy and good for me so I do buy them but I'm gonna stop eating them because I want to start eating more healthier so and then they were talking about canned tunas aren't that good for you but I do want to start doing my lettuce wraps again. Um, so later on today, I'm going to make a meal plan. And I will make a video on my meal plan. Like, I don't know what's up. And I'll be doing that. Not doing it. But I'm not going to do the video today. But I will get it done because I definitely want to get a low-carb cookbook. And I want to get my diet cookbook and come up with some meal plans out of there. Tag my diabetic cookbook with... Like little labels like this saying, okay, I'm going to make this and that. See what I need for these meals. Write it down what I do need and do it. Now, I know some of it costs for me, but I'm going to do what I can do. Okay. Number six, replace some of the meat with beans. So, like I told my husband this morning, I said, when we go do our major grocery shopping haul, I'm going to buy three bags of beans. And he's like, huh? I said, yes, I want to buy three bags of beans. I need to substitute beans with meat for a protein. Instead of having meat, I can have beans. I said, I'm not going to say when I make a crock pot of beans and put whatever I want with the beans. Now, usually I do beans and sausage. I'll make cornbread. I know I shouldn't have a lot of bread. Uh, but I'll make the cornbread and we'll have the beans. And I'm thinking of putting with the beans, maybe some celery and beans. Um, I'll look up some bean recipes and see what I can find that I can put with beans besides. Because I usually do sausage. Uh, I don't know about potatoes and beans. I usually do beans and sausage. But I want to, you know, switch it out. So, if you're friends with me on Instagram or Facebook, um, or if you're in my group, Cooking for Diabetics 101 or Cooking 101, um, let me know some ideas, because I'm going to post and ask some questions on there about that. What else, besides sausage, what else can you add with beans when you're making a pot of beans? Uh, yeah. whew, excuse me. Number seven, be easy with yourself. I drink, like I told my doctor yesterday, I drink more water than I eat food. I mean, yeah, I do get hungry. I used to eat and eat and go to sleep. And the weights. And my body is full, full of fluid right now. And he even said, my stomach's full of fluid. I'm full, full of fluid. He said, you will lose the weight once you get rid of some of this fluid out of your body. That's why I took no fluid pills. I will tell you, I take these keto weight loss pills every morning. I take three every morning. Sometimes it feels like I've lost weight. Sometimes it don't. Yesterday, before I went to the doctor, I got on my scale. It said I was 163.8. I get to the doctor, I'm 166. What the heck? You know? So, I'm not going to buy these again. These are, once these are gone, I'm not going to buy no diet pills or try the diet. Um, 
but the um, lipidine is what I was taking. I probably will get those again. I take those when I go to Walmart, uh, when we go out shopping this weekend to get a cookbook. If I see a pill, I will pick them up. Um, I will be making a list of all the pills here that I do take, the name of it. I want a list of it. I want to make a, I got a file notebook. I want to write all my pills I take in a file notebook. Um, I do have what I eat every day. I write down in here. And this morning, I've done eight this morning. I ate a TV dinner, a smart one, enchilada TV dinner. Um, I, w I love enchiladas, so I want to see if I can make a vegetable enchilada or a vegetable lasagna, you know, incorporate a little bit of maybe noodles in my meal, but not a lot, like maybe a macaroni salad every once in a while, but not all the time, you know, do different things once in a while, but not a lot. So that is the seven things. If you have anything you would like to add or want to put on this list, um, you can comment, go to my Instagram or my Facebook, is it a friends or whatever. And if you know me personally and you want to call and talk about this, go ahead, I don't mind. I love you guys. Hope this is helpful for a lot of you because um, I may need a kidney transplant. But I'm hoping that I might not. So I'm going to try to whoosh and power up and beat this. I am going to beat this kidney disease. I am going to beat it. So I don't need a kidney transplant or dialysis. I'm going to try to beat this. So keep me in prayers and let's beat this kidney disease. And everything else. And sit down and wait. Till next time. Bye guys.